And now that you are acquainted to some of the necessary commands to smoothly interface with AutoCAD Universe, we can now formally begin drafting and generate our drawings. By the way, I have two drawings opened, a new drawing file, and this beam detail drawing file, which we shall be using to introduce a very important concept in AutoCAD, the concept of layers. Layers in AutoCAD is very similar with the layers here in Photoshop. So we have here different layers placed over each other where you can organize objects and associate them with a corresponding layer and this will give you better control of every associated object on each layer and to better appreciate layers let's travel to LA and no sadly not to Los Angeles just type LA on your keyboards and then hit enter to open the layer properties manager palette and similar to other palettes we could change its size its location we can even auto hide it or duck but for me I like it or I prefer it floating here at the center you can toggle this to auto hide but for me, I want it not to. So I leave it not to auto hide. And alternatively, we could also access the Layer Properties Manager with the uh, Layers panel found here under the Home tab. So we could simply click this icon and we can simply close the palette here or open the palette as simply as clicking the ribbon. And I find this quicker than typing LA on our keyboards. We could consider this panel as a quick access to the layer tools we find here on the palette. So we could choose from this down arrow available layers and control the objects associated with the layer such as we could turn on or off this layer so that the objects associated with this layer will not clutter our drawing area or even freeze or throw the objects and even lock or unlock them to disallow accidental editing of those objects associated with the layer. We can even enforce color for our objects through this layer. Even the line type line weight its transparency even if it's going to be plotted or not or to be shown or not to the uh, viewports but beware as you may see others changing the color line type and line weight of objects directly here on the properties panel which should not be done don't ever change objects color line weight and line type here on the properties panel or even on the properties palette as it overrides the assigned layer properties and therefore defeats the purpose of organizing objects on a layer to have control over them so never change layer color here as well as line weight and line type and this is similar to the properties palette again changing this will override the associated properties of the layer 
And again, you are not being organized. So, the purpose of having layers is to properly organize our objects to have better control over them. By default, all AutoCAD drawings will have layer 0, which you cannot delete or rename. Oh, by the way, I have turned off the plot style and the description columns of the palette. You could access that by just right-clicking any of the columns of the palette. And you could see here that the plot style and description columns are unchecked. Now, let's check on layer 0. Let's right-click on the layer. And let's try to delete layer. So, select delete layer. And AutoCAD tells you that you cannot delete the layer 0 along with death points. Death points is a layer automatically added by AutoCAD when you place dimensions on your drawings you cannot also delete the current layer which is by the way indicated by a check mark as seen here in the status column or as can be seen here on the layers panel so the layer that is current will show here on the layers panel and even layers containing objects of course cannot be deleted as well as x reference dependent layers so let's close it and right click again anywhere along the layer and let's try to rename it okay so select rename layer and again it cannot be renamed together with the x reference dependent layers and just close that you could uh, simply rename other layers by uh, simply clicking on the name. Select first and then click on the name. Okay, but of course, you cannot rename uh, layer 0. So I'll just close it. Although AutoCAD provides you this layer, never use this layer as your final layer for any of your actual object drawings. You must create and build your own layers and name them logically for better organization and control of your geometries and drawing elements. Well, you can use layer 0 to start your initial drawings, but make sure that you place them afterwards to an appropriate layer. You can also use layer 0 as your construction lines, as I normally do, but others go to the extent of creating additional layers for their construction lines and hidden geometries.